Right. Last week, uh, Todd was kind of running around the weather department because it was every day it was week. storms here, rain here, chance there. Half the yeah. states this. Half. This week, it's like cruise control. It's kind of like, it, all right. It kind of is right now. Which is actually good because of we're trying to keep our eye on what's going on in Florida, and this gives you the ability to kind of at least do that. Yeah, focus on that. I mean, last week it was, you know, Fiona going by not too far from us and, you know, obviously nailing our friends over in the Maritime. So that, you know, we were focused on that real bit. But right now you're right. Like, you know, there's a little fear, a little uh, anxiousness about whether remnants would get to us from uh, from Ian down south. And, and right now that doesn't even look like it's going to happen. So. A lot of us have friends and family in Canada yeah. and in Florida. Either. Like yeah. Maine is a pipeline no. to both places. So, it really is. you know, we're all paying attention. We are paying attention. We are. So let's get the latest here. First of all, in our neck of the woods, we have clouds that are increasing at the moment, actually giving us some really nice color as the sun comes over the horizon right now. But you can see them kind of thickening up across the area. We had some showers move through last night, resulting in some light fog across the area. Augusta, eight miles, two and a half, Sanford, six, Freiburg. So it's not dense stuff. It's not going to really impact your morning drive too much at all. It is a lot chillier this morning, though, especially in the north and west, Oxford Hills up to the western Maine mountains. Temps are in the 40s or even down around 40, while Portland and Lewiston and Augusta and Bangor are above 50 degrees right now. Awaiting the next front, which is back here in the Great Lakes. This will usher in a pretty chilly air mass for Thursday and Friday morning, especially. Probably going to see some frost Friday morning away from the coastline. But today and tomorrow will be mild. And while there's a little rain on the map, I don't expect a lot of us to get those drops. Just some isolated showers later on. A lot of clouds, some fog. It's damp or wet, depending on if it rained in your town last night. Obviously, it's pretty wet still on the ground if those showers came through. All of us seem to have some dew on the grass blades. Sunshine will be developing from west to east as we approach the middle of the day. And the afternoon looks nice and bright. And again, a little bit of green showing up on the map this afternoon, but I don't think we'll get too much rain out of that at all. Temps getting up close to 70 again for Lewiston, for Augusta, Freiburg 71, Sanford the warm spot at 72, upper 60s in Portland and Wiscasset, mid 60s, mild for Rockland and Bar Harbor, mild up north today too, Caribou 67, Greenville, Rangeley, mid to upper 60s, not too bad. Same thing tomorrow and another stray shower possible as the front comes through. And then it's all about the chill. For Thursday and Friday morning, this big ridge of high pressure will do a couple of things. It's going to give us a lot of sunshine those two days and on into the weekend, but it's also going to be strong enough to lock in in the deep south and prevent the rain shield and the remnants from getting up to us here in New England. Looks like the mid Atlantic down through southeast US back into the Mississippi Valley getting drenched, but here in New England, not too much rain at all. So Ian did strengthen again last night. It's currently over land in Cuba, and there are some hills in here, so it could weaken a tad, and then it'll merge in the Gulf of Mexico and probably strengthen into a Cat 4, Category 4. And right now, the bullseye appears to be the Tampa Bay area. At this point, it looks like we can rule out the Panhandle. We can rule out South Florida. Tampa Bay is probably a worst case scenario, to be honest. Large population density in that area, of course. And it's a slow moving hurricane and Tampa Bay is fairly narrow. So wind will be pushing water into the bay. We call that storm surge and that could create a lot of flooding right along the immediate coastline. And we're going to have some big wind impact in the area for a long time. It looks like over a day along with that. A lot of inland freshwater flooding from copious amounts of rain, probably 10 plus inches of rain over the course of two days. So this is a bad situation for central and uh, central parts of Florida on the west coast there on the Gulf Coast. Small crafts are up for us. Seas three to four wind south five to 15 knots. Clouds now give way to sun this afternoon. An isolated shower upper 60s close to 70. Tomorrow similar, partly sunny, a stray shower, mid 60s, and then chilly but bright on Thursday. A little breeze out there too. So uh, in the morning on Friday, we'll have 30s around. That might feel a little colder if that breeze kicks up again. Mid 60s but bright and sunny, pleasant there on Friday. Saturday's back to 70 degrees and then cooler to finish up the weekend Sunday, Monday. But that's great autumn weather. And we'll be changing seasons too, uh, not seasons, calendar. We'll be going from September to October this weekend. Yep. Another One new month. small clarification though. Hmm. I don't know that 70 is shorts weather. No, you don't think so? I do. 
I absolutely wear yeah, shorts in seventy degrees. I know, yeah. I know. But you're different. We know that. <laughs> August is also not shorts <laughs> weather. Right. Shower, yeah. So I mean, not sure you get to comment on that. Space paid here. <laughs> Truly patronizing. All right. And accurate. <laughs> and right. accurate. Yeah. All right. Fair. Thank you. <laughs>